We're at SeaWorld. Yes. Yes, and we're here because it's Electric, Electric Ocean. Ocean and it's free beer month. Yeah. Well, it's yes. free beer year, you said. Free beer year. Free beer year. Why free else we wouldn't be here then? Electric Ocean, we haven't seen it yet, so I'm super excited. It's going to be a good we time. We got our lanyards on like real dorky tourists. Lanyards ready. <laughs> Let's go do this. The flamingos are out. The flamingos are going to mingle. The flam wait, what's something to say? The flamingos are out to mingle. It's the flamingo mingo. Oh, it's the flamingo mingo. Good flamingo one, good one. Mingle. And like I said, SeaWorld gives free beer all summer long. Two per person Two per, per day. person per day. And then also they have buy one get one free happy hour. Four to eight o'clock. Four to eight o'clock. And that's for annual pass holders. So that's I my kind of deal. for everybody, no? Oh, maybe. I don't know. We'll ask. We'll find yeah, out. Yeah, we'll find out. I love the fact that SeaWorld has a relax and recharge station where you can plug in your cell phones and charge them up and relax. If you have a socket. Yeah, but it's very nice of them. Oh, we can see all the glow stuff that's happening. And it's not even nighttime yet. Yeah. It's gonna be fun though. Foot long corn dogs. Well, we're gonna hold off on the free beer because that goes all the way till 9.30 at night. We're gonna get the buy one, get one freeze that end in an hour and a half now so that we can catch the Sea Lion Tonight Show. What? Yes, that's the plan. Oh. We're gonna go into Sharks Underwater Grove. One of the coolest bars because you got little fishies swimming on the bar. Little Nemo. And Veronica found the kids menu so she is coloring. Oh, you can see sharks in the background. And that's why they call it Sharks Underwater Grill. Look at those beauties. Get to dine with the sharks. And you can actually walk through the shark tank. You see the people down in there? It's pretty awesome. Hey, Sharky. Ain't no fish. Three dollars. Yes. Now we have to get to the sea lion show. And I'm pretty sure we'll be back. Back to Sharks Underwater Grill to take advantage of that buy one get one free happy hour deal. I really, really loved that Sea Lion show. It was hilarious. Basically, they made fun of SeaWorld and all of its shows Corn themselves. It's corniness. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Another cool perk about being a pass holder at SeaWorld, we got quick cues to ride Mako, which is the uh, tallest and fastest roller coaster in Orlando, but it's currently down. And it seems like every time we come here, it is currently down and we never get to use these so pretty sad a part of electric ocean is also some pretty awesome food that they have at different stands stationed all over the park loaded funnel fries and would you look at this soon be coming here at SeaWorld Orlando 
Infinity Falls. I triple dog dare you to touch it. To touch it? It says do not touch. Please do not touch or cry, climb. Oh! Ooh. This is going to be the largest drop on any raft ride, actually. I'm very excited for this when this actually debuts. Infinity Falls. The adventure is about to begin. They have so much going on this summer, actually, though. And I feel like SeaWorld sea does. Like, we have to pick and choose on what we're going to actually get done. Like, for instance, they have Pop, which is a bubble show that's happening over here. But if we had to choose between that, I mean, I think we want to see Light of the Night, Electric Ocean, and then we wanted to see the Sea Lions tonight. So we couldn't do all four things. Makes sense to skip on pop. We've seen it before. Yeah. It was here like last year and it was a really good show. As we were walking away from Mako, it actually started up again. And Yip wants no part of it. So I'm gonna do this solo. And I'm not sure if I can actually film on the ride. I know that you need to have at least two straps, either be a chest piece, head piece, or a wrist piece. I do have two straps on my wristband for the camera, so I'm gonna see if that is allowed, and uh, we'll give it a go. Let's see what happens. So update, they did let me through the front entrance with the camera. Normally, you have to actually lock all loose articles in the locker, so I'm crossing my fingers. I'm hoping that they'll allow this, because it'd be awesome. This is my favorite roller coaster. Like I said, it's the tallest, fastest, longest roller coaster in Orlando. I'm going for the back row. better than I thought. Awesome. I love this roller coaster. Absolutely amazing. I got to enjoy that. That was great. I still have two passes left over. So I'm going to try to give them away to somebody so they can enjoy it and not have to wait long. Hey, you guys you guys uh, riding the ride? Yeah. I got those quick queue passes if you want them. Okay. Yeah, use them. Thank you. You missed out on a great ride. I don't feel like I missed out on much. I Mako watched the is video. amazing. Absolutely amazing. I, I don't feel like I missed out on anything. I've never done it before, so I don't know what I'm missing, but. And just like I was talking about before, Infinity Falls, world's tallest drop. This is where it's gonna be. All pass. alongside these blue walls. Yeah, this was the fun old pass holder thing. Yeah, it used to be the old pass holder lounge where you get to go in there and have free beer and free soda. I missed that. It was not free beer. Yeah, they did have... Fake news. Fake news. No, they had free beer there yeah, once. I'm pretty sure they didn't. Time to head to Mama's Pretzel Kitchen to get ourselves some free beer. You can't beat that. Free beer. You don't get the free beer inside. You have to come outside to this patio bar. It's not inside. The free beers actually turn out to be shots. Yes. Of free beer. Well, Coors Light or Yingling are your options, but beggars can't be choosers. No, no, no. If it's free, it's for me. Thank you. And also new to SeaWorld is Sesame Street that's coming next year where Shamu's Happy Fun Harbor usually is. But the sea carousel is still open. Look at this little guy. We just stumbled on to a dilemma. 
So light of the night is at Shamu Stadium and it starts at 845 and it gets out at like 920. Yeah. Electric Ocean starts at 930. So if we go see light up the night, we will not get good seats for Electric Ocean. We've asked a couple of cast members and they've all said Electric Ocean is way better. So and we're gonna skip light up the night yeah. and actually get ourselves in good position to see Electric Ocean. I want to see Electric Ocean. That's the plan. So if we were going to light up the night Shamu celebration, we would go that way. But we're gonna go this way. Look at the glowy light. To get ready for Electric Ocean. Everything's starting to glow. Look at the the glow sun's still going. out though. I'm really appreciating all the lights. And it's not even dark out yet. Like that's the crazy part about all of this. Oh my lord. They got rid of the actual shark petting area over here and put in a little train ride. Look at the glowing jelly. Look at these lit up jellyfish. I love it. So also a part of Electric Ocean is Club Sea Glow Dance Party. Eight o'clock and then Ignite Fireworks start at 9.30. I think we need to get down. I say it calls me. They told everyone to leave, but Veronica's still standing in the middle. <laughs>
hot one. It was very hot. But a really fun one. We had a lot of fun here tonight. Yeah. If, if like you have like... not seen Electric Ocean, you need to do so. I was with the cool kids tonight. Was, I really felt like I was cool. It was pretty awesome. I had a blast tonight. Me too. Yeah, it was great. I even so, got these cool doodads. I know. So, love the life you live. Live the life you love. And if it's your first time watching, subscribe to our channel. You might like it. We'll see you next time. Toodaloo. Bye.